today I'm gonna be showing showing you what cooking oils to use at home to cook with. So I'm gonna be going to Walmart and I'm gonna be going to Aldi to show you the bad oils and the good oils to cook with. But first, what do we have to do, Kayla? Like, subscribe, and comment. And we also wanna hear what you think about this video. So yes, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment any videos you wanna see in the future. But now we're gonna be going to the store and I'm gonna be showing you all the cooking oils to use at home. Hi, I'm here at Walmart. I'm going to show you the cooking oils that we need to avoid. Well, let's start with the vegetable oil. The vegetable oil is an oil that releases toxic chemicals that when it's heated, it causes inflammation in our body and it's a highly processed oil as well. And here we have the peanut, the peanut oil. The peanut oil causes allergic reactions. It's a toxic oil and it causes chronic health issues. And now we have the sunflower oil. And so the sunflower oil is another toxic oil that I really don't recommend for anybody um, using it unless it's a uh, non-GMO, expeller press, or certified kosher. And here we have the corn oil and the, co and the canola oil. These oils are highly refined, full of chemicals, and they, they cause inflammation to your body as well. This is a brand that many families use at home. Please avoid this brand. This is another type of corn oil. It's highly refined and I do not recommend this oil for anybody. Any of these oils in this area, I know they're cheaper, but I want you to stop buying these oils. These oils are devastated to your health. I'm going to show you some other alternatives on what oils to use. So let's start with the olive oils. This brand, the California Olive Ranch, is a great brand. It's a fantastic brand to uh, use it for finishing oil. This olive oil is not an oil you want to cook with. This is a finishing oil, especially when you do pastas. You just pour the oil on top after you're done with the pasta. Also, this is for making salad dressings and just for your salads when you pour it on top. The prices at Walmart are for the big bottle $15.88, medium bottle $9.48, and a small bottle $6.48. The next oil I really recommend is the avocado oil. This oil is one of my favorite oils to cook with because it's really great for cooking. It has a very high smoke point. It's high in oleic acid. It's a hard and healthy oil. This oil is, is also very good for your good cholesterol and it also helps, helps you to lower your bad cholesterol. Also the avocado oil has no flavor has like a neutral flavor so when you're cooking your food will not have the taste of the avocado oil this brand right here at walmart the chosen foods is a really really good brand so if you ever see it at walmart please grab one of those bottles the prices are like about 10 for the 1098 for the big bottle now i'm going to show you another oil to cook with and the next oil is the coconut oil i know a lot of you already heard of this oil but i just want to make sure when you get this kind of oil always get it that it says cold press and that it says unrefined this photo that i'm showing you right here is not from walmart it's actually the one at costco so if you guys have membership you could get it there too as well which this one is a cold press and the one that is unrefined Okay, so now you know what oils to avoid at Walmart and what oils to actually get at Walmart. So now let's go to Aldi. So now I'm here at Aldi. So right here they have the organic coconut oil for the price of $3.99. And this oil is the one that I was talking about that it says cold pressed and it's unrefined. This is the avocado oil here at Aldi, the one that says cold press for the price of $6.99. Here at Aldi, the olive oil is the organic olive oil for $4.59. 
and is a extra virgin olive oil. Here at Aldi, they also have the ghee butter. The ghee butter is used for baking and it's also used for many cooking recipes as well. The ghee butter is made out of cow's milk fat and it also has a really good flavor. I really like the ghee butter for my baking recipes. This concludes the section of the cooking oils here at Aldi. Aldi is a smaller store, so only has a smaller section of cooking oils. Now I'm going to show you what I actually use at home. So we're gonna go to my house and show you what I usually use for cooking oils. So now that I'm here at the house, I'm gonna be um, telling you what oils I use. And the first one is the avocado oil. The avocado oil is the one I use for mostly all my recipes, all my cooking recipes especially, because it has a, a high smoke point. Mostly uh, all the avocado oils hold up to 450 degrees all the way to 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. My next cooking oil is the sunflower oil. Uh, this oil you could use it for for any cooking recipes or any frying recipes you want to do as well but make sure whenever you get some flour oil it always has expeller press and make sure it always has high oleic and make sure it has non-gmo it's very important if you're gonna if you're gonna be using this type of oil to always look for these things on the oil even if you want to use the canola oil for frying make sure it has expeller press and high oleic if you want to use like for your frying recipes this is a very good oil that i also use for cooking and if i ever do frying i mostly don't do frying recipes but in case like i do any of those recipe this is like the perfect one but i really like this one for my cooking recipes as well this one you could find it at at a smart and final of any of smart and final i'm not sure if all the united states carry this brand but some of the smart and finals do have this brand as well as well as like mexican um, supermarkets also carry this brand my next one is the organic ghee butter this is a clarified butter. I always use this one for my baking recipes, but I know you could use it for other recipes as well that you wanna do at home. Um, make sure when you get the organic ghee, make sure it always has grass fed, and make sure this one is organic. And these ones are always lactose free, all the ghee butters. So in the back, I was checking the back this one says organic unsalted clarified butter it's made out of, the, out of the cow's milk fat so it has a really good taste i really like the flavor i even when i do pancakes mm, the flavor is so good and this uh, ghee butter i order it online through the dry market and what i use for my salads and dressings uh is the extra virgin olive oil from Aldi. So you guys already saw this one. And my last dressing oil is the brand Oleco Gourmet, which is the same brand of this one. They actually uh, make it in Mexico, this brand, and they, they import it here to the United States. This oil is also sunflower oil and it's the high oleic. This dressing oil already has all the ingredients so you just pour it straight to the salad. So it has um, chili flakes, it has garlic flakes, and it has rosemary leaves. On the bottom, it has right here, expeller press, 100% natural expeller press, and the high lake. So don't forget those two things and that is non-gmo this one i believe you could also find it at mostly smart and final stores 
but I usually buy it here in in the city that I live in a Mexican store so this is all my cooking oils I use when I'm cooking I know this video had a lot of information to be covered on all the oils to use I just want you to know that I really really care about you and your health that's why I'm I'm giving you all the information you need so when you're cooking at home you are picking the best option for oils to use for you and your family please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more informational videos like this one bye we'll see you but i just want silly stop so but what do we have to do first kayla we have to like subscribe and comment and don't forget to ring that bell down below